Hello dear fans, friends and subscribers, this is your host Ram welcoming you to the Sunday edition of the Cricket Happening Show and uh, it's a very short Cricket Happening Show today so uh, what I'm going to talk about is yesterday I was telling you uh, the match between India A and Australia A the first unofficial test match was evenly poised where India required uh, 6 wickets and Australia A required 100 runs and it was Australians who were the victors yesterday uh, today as Australia actually uh, defeated India uh, in the first unofficial test match by 3 wickets which I'll be talking about and then we'll also have a look at the Dulip Trophy uh, the local uh, tournament which is going on in India it's been played with the pink ball as you all know uh, India red, uh, India blue uh, and India green which I will be talking about and then we'll have, uh, have a just a sort of a sneak peek at some cricket news uh, that's if at all anything is there but first uh, let me head on as I said so we're going to be a very very short cricket show for sure so uh, so just talking about the unofficial test match uh, which was happening Australia A and India A uh, one has to say Cameron Bancroft yesterday absolutely sort of uh, uh, sort of just parked himself uh, in the uh, in the in the innings there and that's what precisely did it was all thanks even though he lost wickets uh, at the other end with Webster uh, actually uh, nipped in by uh, Varun Arun for uh, 33 boundaries and then Yadav, uh, Yadav took in the wicket of Sam Whiteman for 14 two boundaries that was big wicket of Sam Whiteman I would say uh, because he's a good player and then Chad Sayers was bowled by Thakur for 15 but it didn't deter Cameron Bancroft from having a single-minded goal and a single-minded devotion and he had only one thing in mind and that was an Aussie victory and that's precisely what happened with Cameron Bancroft showing uh, that he's a guy uh, who can show great application in terms of crisis that's what he precisely showed some, some colleges emerging out of Cameron Bancroft there as Cameron Bancroft was the one who actually took them to victory with an unbeaten 58 with six boundaries he occupied a lot of ball that didn't really matter in the end as it was Australia A who were the victors they won the match by three wickets uh, bowling well three wickets for 42 for Shardadil Thakur very impressive yesterday as you know 252 one, one wicket apiece to Pandya and Yadav so that is as far as so the first unofficial test match uh, of, the, of the two match series has been won by the Australia A team and the player of the match went to uh, Peter Hanscombe um, uh, for his uh, uh, very consistent batting uh, I would probably have been uh, thinking about Bancroft but uh, if you look at Hanscombe's innings uh, first innings he made 87 and in the second deck uh, uh, he made a very attractive 24 and he took the attack to India A when India A were getting control of that particular match as you would know so the next thing that I'm going to look at here uh, is the uh, the the uh, you know India blue as I said there th we are talking about the uh, Dulip Trophy match which is being played uh, between India blue and India red and uh, uh, this is the finals of the Dulip Trophy it's been played with a pink ball as we all know and uh, it was uh, stumps on day two India blue amassed a huge score on the board uh, in fact they put up 693 for six declared uh, thanks to Cheteshwar Pujara uh, actually going on to make an unbeaten double century and a big one at that as this was his 10 double century in first class cricket as he was unconquered on 256 of the 28 boundaries when the declaration came from the India Blue as India Blue declared the innings closed at 693 for 6 there were also some and also Cheteshwar Pujara I, I'm told that uh, the only person who has had the maximum number of double centuries uh, in um, uh, in uh, first class cricket is the former uh, very good player from India uh, late I would say Vijay Merchant uh, who, who, who was a person who had a maximum number of uh, double centuries in first class cricket and Indian first class cricket and uh, I mean I would say Chadeshwar Pujara is closely following him right now so probably Chadeshwar Pujara to me definitely is going to probably break that record and is going to hold uh, a record of his own okay and then uh, and this is why as you know Chadeshwar Pujara now looking at this innings you know the Anil Kumble the Indian coach uh, definitely alluded yesterday that even though Chadeshwar Pujara was not in form 
but he feels that Pujara's inclusion is a must and I also really really agree with Anil Kumble uh, Chateshwar Pujara is the rock of the Indian batting economy he used to be the rock of Gibraltar what Rahul Dravid used to do once upon a time um, as far as India Blue were concerned the opening start was uh, very very good uh, Mayank Agarwal hammering 57 with sound boundaries but Gautam Gambhir uh, was a breath of fresh air I mean uh, he went on to make 94 uh, with 8 boundaries uh, Rohit Sharma's contribution was 30 uh, with 4 boundaries everyone contributed 55 coming from Dinesh Karthik in an entertaining uh, stand with Chitrachar Pujara where Karthik definitely dominated with the bat 55 of eight, with 8 boundaries uh, Jackson uh, what a knock from Jackson at, uh, I mean uh, he's another one who uh, really uh, caught the eye uh, of uh, people here uh, with a knock uh, which which uh, which was 134 runs with 15 fours and two sixes and Jadeja um, uh, Ravindra Jadeja uh, made 48 of uh, three fours and two sixes so India blue accumulating a huge total of 693 for six declared the bowling uh, well I would say I'm with Mr. two wickets one for 59 for Stuart Binney one for Kuldi Pyadav who went for 214 runs with 44 overs and uh, Vinam Mukun taking one wicket now um, uh, let's have a look at India Red. So India Red in reply were in trouble early on as they lost uh, Abhinav Mukund uh, first up Pankaj Singh doing the damage there. Uh, Pankaj Singh actually rocking them uh, by getting the wickets of Abhinav Mukund for two and also Sudeep Chatterjee was uh, bowled through the gate by Pankaj Singh for not and which left Shikhar Dhawan not out on 14 with two boundaries and Yuvraj Singh not out on not and India Red uh, they have uh, a very very big task on hand right now and uh, Pankaj Singh at 4 overs 2 for 12 so that is as far as uh, the match situation is concerned now let's have a look at some uh, cricket news as I said it's going to be a very very short cricket uh, happening show no doubt about it so let's uh, have if, if at all any news that I could speak about yes one thing that I could really speak about is that um, the coach of the New Zealand cricket team as soon as you know Indi New Zealand are in India now uh, to play uh, with India in the three test series and uh, McLenahan unfortunately has been ruled out of the India tour and uh, Hesson says that uh, Luke Ronke could be a backup opener um, a lot sort of a backup opener um, in India if at all Guptin and Latham is injured or Guptin and Latham fails because uh, he feels that um, Luke Ronke is a very good player of spin too and that's the precise reason uh, he could he could be one who could be like a backup opener uh, for um, for uh, New Zealand on the tour of India and other than that uh, dear fans uh, so I said we are almost coming to the end of this uh, cricket show I had nothing more to really add and I thought it was a really really short cricket show because I didn't have anything else to really uh, talk about I'm just trying to see whether there is something uh, that I could uh, really talk about but uh, unfortunately uh, I don't think there's going to be any for me to really dwell on so not much of cricket happening I would say um, and uh, it also gives me some rest because if there is cricket I am always there uh, but always I am also um, um, there to talk about anything uh, in cricket here so well dear fan subscribers uh, that really really uh, brings an end to this cricket uh, broadcast of mine today hope you all uh, liked it and uh, see you tomorrow on my next cricket happening show until such time it's goodbye